AF burden really does impact clinical outcomes, and we're starting to develop more and more data to support that notion. A reduction in AF burden is so important because that metric correlates really well with uh, disease progression and ultimately higher burden of atrial fibrillation is associated with poorer clinical outcomes such as decreased health related quality of life, heart failure, embolic events, and death. The more people have AFib, they aren't always symptomatic, but certainly they all tell me they feel so much better when they're in normal rhythm. So we're starting to recognize that AF burden is a pretty important metric. Uh, we think that the greater the AF burden, the more likely uh, the patient will have deleterious uh, effects, including the risk of stroke, uh, as well as other hard endpoints. In fact, recently it's been demonstrated that when patients with heart failure undergo AF ablation, the less the burden, the better their outcomes.